Hello children, in the previous session of physics we were discussing and learnt what about the process of refraction of light. How do you define refraction is when the light travels from one medium to the other medium the direction of the light will change that is the direction of propagation of the light as well as its speed or velocity of the light will change in the second medium. So this process of light is called refraction of light and also you have learnt when the ray of light will bend towards the normal and when it bends away from the normal and what are this rarer and denser mediums and also we studied the laws of refraction and about uh, the refractive index and also the absolute refractive index. In today's session we shall be discussing on the process of refraction by spherical lens. We have already studied about the process of reflection with respect to the spherical mirrors. Mirrors means children one side will be silvered or polished and the other surface will be available for the process of reflection. But in case of refraction we are talking about the transparent mediums isn't it? When it comes to the process of refraction we study about uh, the transparent mediums. So we will be knowing of one such transparent medium today that is glass. But that glass is named with some word and it is named as nothing but the lens children. Lens word is not new to you. You might have seen the person who repairs the watch will put one small eyepiece so that he can see the inner structure of the watch to repair it. How it works and all it, uh, it is two tiny things no children. So he wears the lens that the lens will be present in his eyepiece what he uses so that he can see the enlarged image of the uh, watch or the, the object what he is observing. And best example is well, most of us we use lens. Nowadays contact lens has come. The glass, the spectacles what you wear consists of lens in it. So we are learning more about this lens children. What is lens andre? It is a transparent medium. Isn't it? Of course it is a transparent medium. Why? Because we are studying this process of refraction means we have confined our studies here. As I already said you refraction with the transparent medium we are learning means children. Of course lens also should be a transparent medium. Why it is a glass? Glass is a transparent medium. So, it is a transparent medium, continued in and the bounded by two surfaces of which one or both the surfaces are spherical. And lens a transparent medium, first point. Second point, you know, it has two surfaces, it seems. It has two surfaces. And that means, you know, of which one or both the surfaces are spherical. Ali nanu spherical mirrors bagge helta. I said you, it, it, if you consider a whole sphere and cut it into half, center of circle, center of curvature or center of curvature in the, idu one part of the mirror, e half one part of the mirror andre, idu aperture m n. So, e center bandhu pole of the mirror, distance pc is the radius of curvature r, all that you have learnt already. <coughs> the same thing, it applies to the lens also. So, I delayed in sending the video children, the reason is, all of you should go through the previous videos. Because, if you understand the terms, the sign convention, the process of reflection, the... <coughs> Sorry, the ray diagrams with respect to the reflection of spherical mirrors. Then, this understanding this refraction through lenses, its ray diagrams, its sign convention, its terms, is it is like a icing on a cake. So easy it is, children. So please, if you have not gone through it, make sure first you watch those videos and then go through this video. So it consists of two surfaces in that title. Of which one or both the surfaces are spherical. 
either one or both the surfaces of the lens will be spherical. This last point you will not understand for now. After studying the types of lens you will learn and after understanding what is the shape of those lenses only you will understand children. So don't worry for now. What is lens? It is a transparent medium which has two surfaces. Now when we consider this lens children it is of two types. Even spherical mirror were of two types. Convex mirror, concave mirror. Only concave mirror was converging, convex mirror was divergent mirror of the all that we have studied. Here also children, when it comes to lens, there are two types, concave lens and convex lens. Convex lens and you will have the structure like this and concave and this is the structure of the lens. Concave lens he girate, convex lens he girate. So you may be wondering what is this convex hingirathe, concave hingirathe and rahenge ma'am artha maat kododu and you may get a question. So your questions I am putting to myself since you all are not here. Um, so how do you recognize this? Andra, lenses are there in the school children. I will be showing it to you in the next video. Okay na? Now convex lens and concave lens how do you differentiate andra? Nodak exactly hingirala adu. Instead, how do you differentiate if I handle both the lens at a time to your hand means children? Convex lens will be bulged in the center. It will be bulged. And if you hold your two hands like this, this is nothing but convex lens. Okay, now this convex lens. So, this is the reflecting surface. This is the reflecting surface. That is the reason they say bound by two surfaces. You hold your two hands like this. This forms nothing but the convex lens. So it is bulged in the center, isn't it? It is bulged in the center, and as you go towards its ends, it has tapering ends and that flat or thin ends and all that. Here they use the words tapering. T A P E R I N G. Tapering ends under tapering under flat or thin ends under flat is the perfect word I can thin and not under. So it has tapering ends and bulged at the center. Such lenses are called convex lens. Concave lens under hang under it will be like this and not exactly like this. So okay na it is if you observe it is thin or thin at the center whereas it is thicker at the edges both the edges are thicker compared to the center Alva children lens convex lens henge centrally bulge ratta but concave lens henge centrally it will be flat flat and full flat ala but okay comparatively it will be thinner compared to the ends at the edges compare madre its center is thin or yes thin ashte or ala and both the ends are bunched. So that is how you recognize between the convex and concave lenses. Convex lens is bulged at the center and has tapering ends. Whereas concave lens is flat or thinner at the center and bulged or it is thicker at its ends. Flat centered, bulged centered at the head degree. So this is about concave and convex lens. Now you have understood I think. It is a transparent medium Arthagito. Bounded by two surfaces Arthagito. This is no one sentence there. Of which one or both the surfaces are spherical. Why they are using the word spherical here Andre? Again as we have learnt there in case of the mirror. Spherical mirrors. Why it forms the part of the sphere Anta. Again, this convex and concave lenses are also the part of the sphere children. Hence, they use the word spherical. Okay, now by two surfaces of which one or both the surfaces are spherical. But just now I said you convex and both the surfaces bulge. One flat and one bulge. You see it here. Now, Concave and the head and ends will be thicker 
सेंटर विल बी फ्लैट और थिन नंता सो चिल्ड्रन इफ वन ऑफ द साइड इगा नन विल कीप द चॉक फॉर नो सी कौन के वंदर ही गिरता है तो तोर्स देना नहीं गया सेंटर विली थिन और फ्लैट इधर वरास ई एड जो ई एड ऑब्जर्व माय बोथ दिस एडजेस आर लाइक दिस इट्स थिकर और वाइडर इगा वन ऑफ दिस साइड एड वन और बोथ द सरफेसेस आर स्पेरिकल अंदर स्पेरिकल अंदर ही बर बट इला सो वन स्पियर बर्बार अंदर वन फ्लैट इन कॉन्के हिंगे दिस स्ट्रेट इगे फ्लैट सर्फेस कॉन्के सो लाइक दिस लाइक दिस टाइप ऑफ हाविंग लेंसो पॉसिबिलिटी चिलड्र सच ले आर कॉल प्लेनो कॉन्के कॉन्केव लेंस अर्थ आगे तो वै प्लेनो कॉन्केव अंदर सैड प्लेन सो प्लेनो कॉन्केव हाँ प्लेनो कॉन्वेक्स अस्ट प्लेन वन सैड इफ इट इस वन आफ द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस इज प्लेन एंड अदर इज लाइक दिस thin and and uh, wider edges children it is called plano concave how do you represent it in figure on this side it beko untilla either this side may be plano and hingo irbodu idu flat iddu hingo irbodu idu plane iddu hingo irbodu idu plane aadre hingo irbodu both the possibilities are there that i have shown here and those are called plano concave lenses why plano one side is plane स्ट्रेट लाइन बरती है दट इज प्लेन अंत इट इस प्लेनो कॉन्केव अदे यू हव प्लेनो कॉन्वेक्स अंदर दिस इज कॉन्वेक्स मिरर ई शो यू बोथ द सैड आर् स्पेरिकल सो इफ वन सैड इस प्लेन एंड अदर इज स्पेरिकल प्लेनो कॉन्वेक्स इत प्लेन इपेरिकल प्लेनो कॉन्वेक्स सो बोथ द फिगर्स ई हव शो यू हियर ईदर आफ द सैड मे बी बल्ज स्पेरिकल वर्ड सर बलज स्ट्रेट लाइन हेगित्रे अद्वान प्लेनो कॉन्वेक्स अंत करतर हॉप यू हव क्लियर अंडर्स्टूड नौ गो बैक् टू दफिनेशन बउंड बै टू सर्फेस करेक्ट आफ विच वन वन और बोथ द सर्फेस आर् स्पेरिकल हॉप यू गाट द डफिनेशन आफ द ले नौ So how do you define a lens? It is a transparent medium which is bound by two surfaces of which one or both the surfaces are spherical. If one surface is spherical, then it is named as plano concave or plano convex, depending on the lens. If both the surfaces are spherical, it is called either convex or concave lens, children. Hope this definition is clear to you. Step by step, one on the net, clarify my point one day. You should now not should not carry over the doubts. That is what I want. This lesson is very 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 important with more weightage of marks, children. So I am going slowly. Please understand it clearly. Then and there, clarify with the doubts. If you have, though it is silly doubt, no problem. Please ask me. Okay. Uh, so this is about the definition of lens. And types of lens. Lens definition I took. Lens only two types, children. Concave lens and convex lens. You also discussed on plano convex and plano concave lenses. After understanding this, next we should study, of course, the ray diagram with respect to the lenses.